Houdini is such a large program, it's really easy to forget about hotkeys. So let's take a look at some of the hotkeys for the network view that you may have forgotten about. So to start off, we have the equals key. So the equals key is going to give you a file node. So you can see that that just generates a file node for us and we can load in all we want without having to drop that down. Then we have the alt and left click on a node to select its connector. So if you're super zoomed out, something like this, it's hard to kind of grab this little dot. Sometimes it can be annoying to grab that little dot. So if I alt and left click on this, you can see that we have the option to select an input or an output. So if I go ahead and select that output, you see that we can start to wire that into whatever we want. So that will work on like this attribute wrangle. If I click on it, you can see that we can access any of those inputs as well. So you can select whatever you want if you can't seem to grab the little node connector that you're looking for. Also, if you have a bunch of wires connecting your scene here and you want to wire something or move something around without it just wiring up into one of these wires that are in your scene, you can hold eight and you can see that that disables those wire connections there. So holding the number eight will allow you to drag it and drop it around wherever you want without having to worry about wiring it into your network. So if we have this switch node selected and let's say we wanted to move up to the sphere, we can just press the page key and that's gonna take us up to that sphere. If we press the page down key, we're gonna to move to the null and then one more time we come back to that switch. So it's a good way of moving between the nodes without having to select them. Maybe you know you just want to you know, move up. Uh, if you got a whole bunch of nodes, you want to move up between them, just pop back and forth between a couple of nodes. It's a quick and easy way to go about doing that. So if you also want to select like a node or a, yeah, like a, a box drag there, let's say you've got a bunch of nodes in your scene, they're all kind of jumbled together and you don't have the space to create a box without clicking on something, you can hold the S key. And now you can see that I can even click on a node and drag out a box without it selecting or without it like just selecting the one node. So super useful if you got a jumbled mess in your network view. We can also, if we want to just continue to scroll along. So let's say I've got the sphere. I want to drag this over here. You see, once I get outside of our network pane, if I go up or really anywhere outside of this pane, it's going to stop dragging. So if I hold space, it's going to start to just push the network view over and we can move that over as much as we need if we want. So that's super useful. That's one I definitely forget about a lot. You can also press, if I select the nodes here, I can press shift and A and drag, and that's going to align the nodes. Let's say I've got them all kind of like jumbled out. I can select them, shift and A. It's going to just wire or line them all up vertically. If I were to do it horizontally, it's going to just kind of make a mess there, but um, you can do that as well. So let's say I wanted to just clean this up. I can shift A and drag. It's going to align them all in the same vertical space. Then if we hold Alt and A and drag, that's going to align them all so they're distributed nice and evenly as well. So a couple of things to just quickly, you know, clean up your, your network there a little bit. Then we can take our switch here. If I take our switch and we select Alt, Shift, and click, it's going to select all of our inputs. If I do Control, Alt, and click, it's going to select all of our outputs as well as or as well as the switch node. So Shift, and, Shift, Alt, and Control. Sorry, Shift, Alt, and click to select all of the inputs. Control, Alt, and click to select all of the outputs there. And then if we want to select all the outputs and the inputs, we can control shift and alt click and it's going to select everything. So I'll do that again there. You can see it selects all of our inputs and all of our outputs. So pretty nifty little one there that I definitely forget about a lot. Um, those few to select all those inputs and outputs to move things around. Then we have shift, click and drag to move node and inputs. It goes along with what we just did. So we can alt shift and click 
and just select those or if we don't want to select those we can just shift click and drag and we'll move all of the inputs same with the control click and drag it's going to move all of the outputs there so control click and drag will move all of the node the node and all of its outputs without having to actually select them then we have alt shift click and drag to copy a node and its inputs so alt shift click and drag it's going to select all of our nodes inputs and it's going to make a copy of those if i select our switch node again and i do alt control click and drag you're going to see that it's going to make a copy of all of the outputs as well as the node that we have selected obviously alt click and drag is just going to make a copy of the node that we have selected now one that i see people not knowing about quite often is the alt shift uh, alt shift control click and drag to make a complete reference of the node so this is super handy for things like procedural modeling you can see everything is based off the sphere now so if i move this you can see that all of our values have changed so we can make a complete copy and maybe i want to change one little thing i could come in here and just uh, control shift and click on that parameter to delete the references there and we have a complete copy except for you know whatever the we want to change about the node. Super, super useful. I use that one quite a bit. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the find feature in our network view. So control F, the universal hotkey for finding things in uh, pretty much anything, also works inside of our network view. So if I start to type out null here, you can see that we have all of our nulls listed. So if I want to click on like null five, it's going to take us all the way over there. So we can select, you know, whatever one that we want, and it's going to move us on to whatever we want. We can also select, you know, attribute wrangle. It's going to move us over there. And we can add some filters to this. So this is actually super powerful, something that I didn't really think about uh, as being something that would be, you know, super useful. But now that I look more into this, I definitely think that this could be useful in, in large net node setups. Specifically, some of these filters. Uh, for example, you can search just straight up attribute wrangle. So let's say we're over here. Let's add a wrangle snippet. And we want to search for something in our wrangle. We know we have some certain code that we have set up. We can type in, you know, hello. So I have that set up in our attribute wrangle. Click on it, you can see that this is, says hello world. So we have that in our actual attribute wrangle, which is pretty awesome that you can do that. You can also search child networks. Um, you can search in lock nodes. So all sorts of different features with this. This is a lot to play with. I'm not gonna go over everything, but you can play around with this and look at all the different features of this find feature of the network view, because this is super, super cool. And actually, one other one that I forgot, if you want to just lay out your nodes, let's say you select all of our nodes here, we can press L, and that's going to lay out things. It doesn't always work super, super nicely, uh, but it does lay things out. And then you can use the other hotkeys we talked about to you know, start to clean that up if you want. Or if you don't have anything selected and you press L, it's going to lay out everything in your entire node network. So if I undo that a couple times there, and I press L, you can see what that gives us. So let's just undo that again. But anyways, that was some some tips for the network view for hotkeys. Um, some of those are pretty easy to forget, but super, super useful, uh, especially, you know, the ones with moving nodes, you know, selecting nodes, inputs and outputs, moving them around. That is something that's super, super useful. So if you know of any other node network um, hotkeys, I know that there's more out there that I'm just drawing a blank on. Like for example, the Y key, you can cut inputs with that if you hold that. Um, there's other ones out there that are, are somewhat common. There's other ones out there that I know are not super common. So if you know any of those, make sure to you know leave your favorite ones in the comments because I'd love to hear about some other ones that maybe I don't know about or maybe it'll help somebody else out that uh, doesn't know that you can do a certain thing. So anyways, hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.